Hello Watch fans, welcome to the Waterfall channel and today we will be talking about a Tevis but it's not a Tevis that, you, that you're most likely to have seen before usually you see those, those divers, those Rolex homages but today we're looking at a slightly dressy watch it's a, not slightly, it's a well dressy watch from Tevis I've had this one for like more than half a year now already I've been wearing it actually most mostly I got this one because lately I find myself being attracted to more dressy style watches like I don't know I know that divers are the norm and the most popular types but lately when I see a diver I'm like kinda indifferent but when I see a new dress watch come out I'm like whoa that thing looks nice so when this thing popped out on my shopping app it was quite reasonably priced and I, and I just had to get it mostly because I wanted to see how would a dress watch feel on me and how would I feel wearing a dress watch and this one it's kinda it kinda looks good so let's see I paid around I don't really remember something like 16 or 17 US for this one it was on discount of course and for that money I'm pretty happy with it for that money it's kind of it's kind of thick but let's see at the dimensions first we have it's a my trusty old Schubler it is not too bad diameter is 41 and a half Mm, luck to luck, I think it's like the normal 20. Let's check that one out. Oops, 18. 18 actually. It has a luck to luck from 18. And about the thickness, this is a thick one. And the and the dome and the glass is really domed. It really goes up. So let's see. 15 and a half that's quite big it doesn't really slide under the cuff it doesn't really I wear this one to work and it's always outside the cuff like right there out on display with the big face but it looks nice I went for the white dial with the gold applied indices and this one it's a triple date we have the months on the register on the right we have the days of the week on the register of the, on the left and here we have a date window at four and a half at four and a half a bit of an awkward placement and not really not really that legible but we, we still that makes it that makes this one a triple calendar and down we have what looks like a moon phase but it isn't really a moon phase this one is a day and night indicator which is like the the pointless ever complication I mean they put this one on here they could have made it like separate that you could set it separately and they could have marketed it as like a dual time zone watch but actually this dial is coupled with the main dial so you can separate the two you can't use it as a dual time zone but still it shows you like it has the sky and it has a sun and a moon that ro that rotate like I don't know for me when I see a day night indicator on a watch like dude I don't live on the North Pole I don't need my watch to tell me if it's day or night I can see if lights coming in from my window it's day if there's no light coming in it's night so pretty much pointless but let's get back to the watch the indices are gold toned and they are applied so is the Tevis logo applied also the hands have loom it's not the best loom but still there is loom it can in the first half an hour you can in the first half an hour at night you can read the time but later than that not really 
and the dial for me the best thing about this this watch is a dial you can see like it has this like like guilloche pattern Tim Mossel calls this cornage or barley corn pattern which like it's confusing for me I don't know like barley yeah the barley grains do have this like like a diamond shape but the barley is a cylinder it doesn't really work when you compare it to a watch dial to me when I see these diamond shapes like radially spreading out from the center this looks exactly like the like a sunflower head I mean when you take out the yellow flowers and you see all the the black seeds from the sunflower when you see them on the head it's exactly the same pattern I know on a white dial you can really see the comparison but imagine if it was a black dial with this pattern it would look exactly like the sunflower so for me I'm just going with it's a, it has a sunflower dial it's one thing about the indices the indices look nice they look nicely made but some of them are kind of off check out the the one at six o'clock it's tilted to the side when you look at it it doesn't really point to the center it points somewhere just off center and the few and this one too the nine also it doesn't really point towards the center but still for the amount that you pay for this watch you can't really expect that that kind of quality when it comes to let's go let's look at the back the back they have the rotor is kind of kind of like decorated it doesn't look like machined it looks like it's stamped but still they went through to the, they went through the effort the movement absolutely no decoration of the movement it looks very very industrial i don't know what kind of movement this one has probably some i don't know some chinese movement but not a very good one because like you can see it's windable you wind it on the crown and it doesn't have a very big power reserve you get to full wind fairly quickly and here it's fully wound so I'm guessing like the spring in the barrel is not very long and from experience it has like like around like 20 hours of power reserve like when I set it down the next day at the same time it's dead already it's not running so the power reserve is less than 20 hours and uh, one problem the crown is kind of tricky it's not that easy easy to pull out you have to really really put your elbow into it you have to really use force and every time when I have to set the watch I I, I kind of do it like with fear I'm afraid that I'm gonna rip the crown right off because really have to use power as you can see non hackable you set it up and down the mid position does the date and and the same pushing the crown back in it's also a struggle like oops nope still not I'm gonna do it off camera later <laughs> okay we have two pushers one up and one down the one up sets the day of the week the one down does the months there is one more there is a hidden pusher on the side I tried it it doesn't do nothing I don't know maybe it's not even connected or maybe it's it's broken but it doesn't do nothing and that's it but I gotta say it looks well it looks really nice I like wearing it I like during the daytime at work it's very legible because of the white dial but at night well I don't really wear it at night but during the day for me it's a perfect it's a perfect work watch the strap it says 
it says genuine leather on the other side it says Tevis and it has the logo but it's not genuine leather it doesn't feel like genuine leather it's like pretty hard and stiff but I've worn it quite a lot and it's holding up nicely still no cracks no disintegration it looks okay so let's see let me give you a wristwatch wristwatch check let's call it the wristwatch check uh, look on the wrist let's see so quite nice and when you look at it like Oops, down the barrel shot, it's thick. No shirt is going over that this bad boy. No way. But I'm okay with that. And it looks kind of big too. It wears very big. The lugs, the lugs are not so much. But the face is big. It has a big face and the bezel protrudes outside from the case. By like 2 millimeters. The bezel is 2 millimeters bigger than the case. And that's why, that's why it has this look. But all in all, for the $17 that I paid, I've got my, I've got, I've worn it like for more than the money's worth. So it's paid off. And I will still wear it. I like it. And now I'm decided. My next purchase is definitely going to be a dress watch. So, thank you so much for joining me for another video. I hope you found it interesting. And maybe you will buy one for yourself too. Anyway, take care and never stop collecting. See you next time.